Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to your bonus tarot reading for June. We're going to be asking tarot today, what do you need to know? What do you need to hear about? And um, we're going to start with Oracle Cards, uh, the Divine Feather Messenger deck. And um, if you'd like to support this channel, please hit that like button. It makes a huge difference, totally free, and uh, I so appreciate it. I do think it's kind of this reciprocal way of giving back to the energy too. That's that is my woo-woo side. All right, so from the Oracle deck, and then we're going to be getting answers from Tarot. All right, what does our Sagittarius need to hear? Take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. What do my Sagittarians need to hear? We have the message of the crane. You will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless this union. Whether it's romantic or business, we do not know yet. You will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Sagittarius, I just did your reading and there's just so much on the horizon for you. A lot of your readings lately have been uh, focused on something coming towards you, an opportunity coming towards you, and it's around the corner. And also being discerning with the company you keep, the people around you. There's been this theme. All right, so Sagittarius, what messages for June in your bonus reading? What messages does Sagittarian need to know? What messages does Sagittarians need to know? Please make it clear. Only taking the cards that fly out on their own, we force nothing. And if they fly out in reverse, this is flipping but not flying the Hierophant. My thumb kind of stopped it, so I just want to take note of that. Beautiful card to start your reading off. This could very well be financial, you guys. The, the Ace of Pentacles, Aces are gifts from the universe. These are those moments in life where things just fall in your lap, and this is money. This is value. If it turns into a relationship reading, which it feels not so much like yet, that would be self-value, self-worth. What does our Sagittarius need to know? What does our Sagittarius need to know? June 2024, what message? Wow, the cards are like, <laughs> they're, they're discerning. All right. There we go. Other cards. There we go. Yeah. Too discerning for you? All right. All right. This is about gaining insight. Something's happening that is allowing you some really important insight. Um, we have something that might not have worked out the way that you had planned, but in fact, the twist is that the insight you gain from it is the missing component to the success you will have. That make any sense? So in a sense, this there could be a slight, um, this is basically, you need to just like correct it, you know, add a little sprinkle of this, add a little sprinkle of that. This is like those, that fine tuning that happens that is so important um, in order to have success. And it's also important to recognize it for what it is. It's not the end all be all. It's just like that moment you taste the soup you're cooking and you realize it needs more acid in it. And I don't mean the drug. <laughs> I am talking to Sagittarians. I need to be very clear. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you guys. Sagittarians, Aquarius, and Pisces. We are all crazy <laughs> in the best way with the six of ones. I hope you're laughing right now. Six of ones in reverse. What is the six of wands in reverse? What's up with it? King of cups. So somebody, somebody might be giving you a little bit of a hard time and it's kind of one-sided. Like they have some opinions. This could be somebody who's important to you. They could, um, they could be a relative. They could be just very close to you. Could be a, a partner, but there is a sense of like, um, not feeling like you are recognized in this situation. Okay, okay. It's revealing something that needed attention anyway. And so it's coming to a point here. It may be inter it maybe it looks like an argument or a conflict. But what I like about this is that at what's in front of you, what's on your lap basically is a sense of being misunderstood. Somebody feels misunderstood, something is, and in this moment where there's conflict, it's somebody being like, no, 
it's not actually okay. I need to, this needs to move forward. I'm not willing to deal with this difficulty or just um, shut up and take it basically. So like something's been amiss, it's needed more attention. Maybe it was a shaky foundation between two people. Maybe it was a shaky foundation in a, a, a project or something. Either way, it's like when you take a moment and reflect on this, there is this moment with the Seven of Pentacles where you're taking for yourself to be honest with a scenario and reflect and look at the, in all fairness, the amount of effort, care, and work you've put into something and ask yourself, has it been worth it? Any more energy on that? Yeah, so this is, um, if you've been collaborating with people, this is you taking a look at the other people involved and asking, are they doing their fair share? Am I doing all the work? Are they, am I doing the work and they're just sitting on their haunches and just, you know, being rude and critiquing or, you know what I mean? So anyway, Page of Pentacles pops up when this new, when there's an opportunity to grow in a new way, in a direction. And that's, like I said, uh, just a minute ago, right away with your energy when we laid out the cards was like, okay, this is a blip. Don't let it throw you off too much. This is that moment where you taste the soup and you need more acid. So this is like something revealing itself to you, basically. What you're gonna see inside of it is actually an opportunity, but it only was through finally getting to that point where you had to call a spade a spade, say, I'm uncomfortable with this, and then there's a little bit of clashing of the energies. Because believe it or not, if you did not do that, if you did not take a moment and be honest with yourself, it would have grown way worse. <laughs> So this is, you're gaining this really valuable insight and it's gonna change everything. Here you are, queen of wands, fiery as hell. And like the judgment card is about huge life change, life shift and a wake up call. Shoot, that's what, that's what your last reading was about for June. So yeah, this has been a big wake up call and a, a blessed one, you know? And I wanna go back to our Oracle message, which is you will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless the union. So let's talk about that directly. With this new deck of cards, I wanna ask, what the hell is this Oracle card talking about? <laughs> All right, be straight up. This blessed union, bless this union. Here's our King of Cups again. All right, so it looks like, and there's healing, wonderful. So this King of Cups, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, because there is healing here, and it's in that clash. I, I could be really over-talking up something super simple, like you and your partner have a clash, a disagreement, and then you heal. <laughs> and then you agree, you know, you work it out. And the Empress and the Nine of Wands believe in this. You're like stubbornly standing by this, bruised and tired, believing that it's worth it. And Empress, we have this abundance card. The Empress is total abundance. And it's about growth too, so something can grow bigger and bigger. You guys, I have to tell you, do you know um, how when you get in your first argument with somebody, whether they are a business partner or a lover or a friend, and then you have to face do we work on it or do we walk away? You know, I know that when I sit there and do the grind, like I, I grind through um, forgiveness and communication and understanding with an individual, th something special is established with them. That's leveling up and you've now invested into each other. You've invested into this relationship and it strengthens it. It was fa it was rocky before, right? And it could be because some you just didn't want that clash, you know. And so, the only opportunity, the only option when you don't want that clash is to compromise. And sometimes that compromise means a lot more than you just being uncomfortable in the moment. Sometimes that's actually throwing out the whole thing. That's gonna distance you from an opportunity or person. It's gonna make you detach, cut the thread, and just move on out. Instead, this is what the crane is, the Oracle card is talking about. You will soon enter into a beneficial partnership, luck and longevity, bless this union. This is something you're working on. This is a partnership you most likely are already in. 
and you're getting healing here. Rewards for believing the nine of the nine of wands right there, sticking with it, and you grow from there. All right, you guys, we're at 10 minutes right now. I'm going to uh, invite you over to the extended reading where I'm going to ask for advice and some more perspective from Oracle and Tarot. Advice portion especially is helpful if, and it's about the price of a cup of coffee, if this is where I leave you, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. Love you all. Mwah.